These are the top five NBA players without a ring, meaning no NBA championship. But first, let's start with some honorable mentions. This athlete has 10 all-star appearances, a scoring title with the New York Knicks, as well as averaging 27.4 points per game. But the Negro ain't got no ring. If you guess Carmelo Anthony, then you guess right. Carmelo Anthony signed a contract for over 100 million with the New York Knicks. I guess some people value money more than they do rings. Whatever. Moving on. Another honorable mention on the list, this athlete led the league in scoring from 1985 to 1986, showcasing his offensive prowess. This Georgia Bulldog averaged 26.7 points per game, as well as a total of 9 All-Star appearances as well as 6.5 rebounds per game. He was also a part of the dream team that competed in 1992 in the Barcelona Olympics, winning a gold medal alongside basketball legends like Michael, Magic, and Larry Bird. If you guessed Dominique Wilkins, you are correct. Then we have Mr. Triple Double No Ring looking ass himself. With a total of nine all-star appearances, who will still dunk on you like you cussed out his mother. Russell Westbrook averaged 31.6 points, 10.7 rebounds, and 10.4 assist, and also had multiple deep playoff runs with the Oklahoma City Thunder and Kevin Durant, including the NBA Finals appearance in 2012. However, the Negro still ain't got no ring. Moving on, the ninth overall pick by the Toronto Raptors in the 1997 NBA Draft. This athlete blossomed into superstardom with the Orlando Magic earning two NBA scoring titles in 2003 and 2004. He became known for his scoring versatility combining explosive dunks with his silky smooth jump shot, as well as his legendary comeback against the San Antonio Spurs in 2004 scoring 13 points in 35 seconds leading the Houston Rockets to a stunning victory. But unfortunately, Mr. Tracy McGrady got hurt. He still had multiple 50 point games and all-star appearances during this period. However, he still didn't get a ring. The next person on our list is a basketball icon. After leading the Georgetown Hoyas to an NCAA title in 1984, this athlete was drafted first overall by the New York Knicks in 1985, where he became the face of the franchise. With a total of 11 All-Star selections, he showcased his dominance as one of the league's premier centers. Often known for his scoring, rebounding, and defensive prowess, he led the Knicks to the 1994 NBA Finals. Although they fell short and weren't able to win, Patrick Ewing's leadership left an indelible mark. He later played for the Seattle Supersonics and Orlando Magic before transitioning to coaching. Over his career, he was able to average 31.6 points per game, as well as averaging 10.7 rebounds per game and 10.4 assists per game. Ewing played during an era that featured several dominant teams and Hall of Fame players such as Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and Larry Bird. He also faced injuries and setbacks throughout his career that affected both his individual performance as well as the Knicks' playoff aspirations. These setbacks included a torn Achilles tendon and various other injuries that impacted his ability during critical playoff runs. Although he had an incredible career as well as many deep runs into the playoffs, he still was never able to get a ring. The final athlete in our honorable mentions was drafted by the Indiana Pacers in 1987. He spent his entire 18-year career with the franchise. He was a five-time NBA All-Star and one of the most feared three-point shooters in the league's history. His highlights include his epic duels with Eastern Conference rivals, buzzer beaters, and his record-breaking three-point shooting. Despite leading the Pacers to multiple deep playoff runs, including appearances in the NBA Finals in 2000, Miller never won an NBA championship as a player. This can be attributed to factors including tough competition from powerhouse teams like the Chicago Bulls and Los Angeles Lakers, as well as some near misses in the playoffs. Reggie Miller's impact on the game and his status as one of the greatest shooters of all time remain unquestioned. So now that we have all of those honorable mentions out of the way, let's get to the top five NBA athletes without a ring. Let's start with number five. This athlete has averaged 36.1 points per game, a total rebounds of 6.6 .6 points per game, and a total assist of 7.5 per game throughout his career. 
After attending Arizona State University, he was drafted third overall by the Oklahoma City Thunder in 2009. James Harden, often known as the Beard, became a key player, earning the NBA Sixth Man of the Year award in 2012. He was later traded to the Houston Rockets in 2012, where his scoring prowess reached new heights, earning him multiple scoring titles and MVP consideration. Harden's career highlights include his 60-point triple-double, multiple 50-point games, and his renowned step-back jumper. Despite his individual success, Harden has yet to win an NBA championship, facing tough competition and playoff disappointments. His tenure with the Houston Rockets featured deep playoff runs but fell short of a title. Nonetheless, Harden's impact on the game and his electrifying performances continue to captivate fans worldwide. Number 4 Drafted out of Auburn University by the Philadelphia 76ers with the 5th overall pick in the 1984 draft. Charles Barkley, despite being shorter than typical power forwards at 6'6", uses strength and aggressiveness to become one of the NBA's most dominant rebounders and versatile players who could score, create plays, and defend at an elite level. With a total of 16-year career in the NBA, he has a total of one league MVP, 11 times NBA All-Star, one All-Star MVP, and number 19th on the list of total rebounders all time as well as being a Hall of Famer. Throughout his 16 year career, he spent eight years with the Philadelphia 76ers, four years with the Suns, and four years with the Rockets. Chuck finished his career as just the fourth person in NBA history to reach 20,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and 4,000 assists. His relentless style of play made him popular with fans and earned him a spot on the NBA's all-interview team for 13 straight seasons. Despite all his individual brilliance, the one accomplishment that eluded Barkley was an NBA championship. He became agonizingly close in 1993 when his Phoenix Suns lost to Michael Jordan the Chicago Bulls dynasty in the finals. Barkley played in an era dominated by the Bulls and other great teams, facing incredibly tough playoff opposition throughout his prime. Although he never won a ring, he was an undersized force who willed his way to greatness through pure tenacity and skill. His legacy as an all-time legend was cemented long ago. Number 3. After a standout four-year career at Gonzaga University, he was drafted 16th overall by the Utah Jazz in the 1984 NBA Draft. While not a highly touted prospect coming out of college, he would go on to redefine the point guard position with his elite playmaking and tenacity on both ends of the floor. In his 19-year career that was spent entirely with the Jazz, which never happens anymore, he was able to accomplish being a 10-time All-Star, a two-time Olympic gold medalist in 1992 and 1996, where he played with Mr. Barkley, if I might mention, as well as becoming the number one all-time steals leader in the NBA, as well as becoming the NBA's all-time assist leader with a total of nine assist titles throughout his career. Somehow he has no league MVPs, which someone make that make sense to me. Stockton was able to form an all-time power duo with Carmelo perfecting the deadly pick and roll game that tormented defenses over the decade. His court vision and awareness were unparalleled dissecting defenses with pinpoint passing and racking up steals with his pesky on-ball defense. Despite his lack of athleticism at 6'1", Stockton willed his way to greatness through sheer grit, hustle, and elite basketball IQ. He was the ultimate floor general, directing the Jazz's offense with precision while also being a lockdown defender on the other end. Stockton led the Jazz to two NBA Finals appearances in 1997 and 1998, but they ultimately fell short against the Michael Jordan-led Chicago Bulls dynasty. While he never captured an elusive championship ring, Stockton's impact on the game is undeniable. He raises standards for point guard play and is regarded as one of the greatest winners and competitors the NBA has ever seen. On to number two. This athlete is another elite point guard. He was selected fourth overall in the 2005 NBA Draft by the New Orleans Hornets after having a stellar career at Wake Forest University. From the moment that Chris Paul stepped on the NBA court, his brilliance, floor generalship, and competitive fire were on full display. Let's take a look at his accolades. 
After 19 years and counting in the NBA, CP3 has racked up a total of 12 NBA All-Star appearances, six-time NBA steals leader, nine times NBA All-Defensive Team, 2006 NBA Rookie of the Year, as well as becoming number three on the all-time assists list and number three on the all-time steals list for the NBA. In 2021, he was also named one of the top 75 greatest players. CP3 has the ability to control the pace of the game, distribute the ball with excellent passing, as well as the ability to lock up some of the other team's best guards have made him a formidable player to game plan against. Not to mention, he's petty as hell. <laughs> Often being accused as a dirty player, has gained a reputation over the years for making questionable plays and being edgy as a competitor. Certain commentators might highlight his dirty plays, such as hitting opponents below the belt. Although there's discourse within the community on this subject, it's reasonable to note that it's hard to tell whether Paul's aggressive physical play is actually intentionally dirty or he competes aggressively within the rules. His mindset of doing whatever it takes to win has drawn some criticism from some people, but others have seen it as him maximizing his efforts on the court. Standing only six foot tall, Paul has used his tenacity and competitiveness to will his team to success through elite basketball IQ, great leadership, and creativity to make tough shots down the stretch. CP3 has come extremely close to that elusive NBA title, making the NBA Finals in 2008 with the Hornets and in 2021 with the Phoenix Suns. However, injuries and tough matchup against dynasties such as the Spurs, Warriors, and Bucks have kept him from getting over that hump so far. Now towards the end of his career, it should be interesting to see what a 38-year-old Chris Paul can do to will his team to a championship. For me personally, this 2-3 and three spot is a tough matchup. If CP3 were able to win a championship, he would remove himself from this list and John Stockton would become number two. However, if he isn't able to win a championship, it should be an interesting conversation of who actually deserves this number two spot on this list. And now we have reached number one. Number one on the list, we have the 13th overall pick in the 1985 draft by the Utah Jazz out of Louisiana Tech. However, he would go on to redefine the power forward position through his brute strength, scoring prowess, and incredible durability. The mailman's accomplishments through his 19-year career in the NBA include the following. 14 times NBA All-Star, two-time Olympic gold medalist in 1992 and 1996 with the likes of John Stockton and Charles Barkley, two All-Star MVPs, as well as becoming number seven on the list of all-time rebounds and number 12 on the list of the NBA's all-time most steals. To gain two NBA League MVPs as well as becoming a Hall of Fame player. And most importantly to me, he made the playoffs every season of his career. <laughs> John Stockton and Karl Malone formed a duo that perfected the pick and roll game that gave defenses hell for decades. His physical strength and skill made him almost impossible to stop on a fast break or in the low post. Malone used his 6'9", 256-pound frame to outwork the opponents night in and night out. He is also known for his tough off-season regimen that contributed to his success during his 19 seasons in the NBA. While Malone packed up many individual accolades, the one achievement that he wasn't able to get was an NBA championship ring. He, along with John Stockton, led the Jazz to the finals in 1997 and 1998 and fell short to the, you know it, Chicago Dagum Bulls. Regardless of any allegations, Malone pounded the boards and hammered the basket throughout his 19 seasons in the NBA. Malone still to this day stands number three on the all-time scoring list with a total of 36,928 points. He was the ultimate workhorse who willed his way to greatness through brute force and an insatiable competitive desire. This is all to say, even if you never get a ring, you can still dominate and leave an impact that people will remember for decades.